Hello guys, welcome to Merch Benz King. Today we have a Lamborghini Urus Mansory and this specific one is the Mansory Venatus, around 400,000 euros. So in this video I will show you the complete exterior interior and you will listen to the sound because it has a special exhaust system. And before we do that, make sure you follow me on Instagram, the link is down below. And I have amazing content special for you about all new Mercedes-Benz vehicles and the exclusive cars around the world. So let's continue here in the front because you can see it has the carbon package and actually a whole white body package of Mansory. And it has a four layer front splitter and it actually looks like the Predator. It is really forward moving and so many sharp lines. In the center you can notice a round shaped object which is the adaptive cruise control. And furthermore I have to emphasize this gorgeous red and black design color, the carbon fiber design and it has the lovely headlights of Lamborghini Technica design. Furthermore large 24 inch rims, amazing 295 in width and the rear wheels are even thicker, 355 in width. And I love the shape of this SUV coupe. It really reminds me of the GLE coupe and the BMW X6. Amazing blacked out lines around the window and this red stripe on the side. It really reminds me of the GLE 63S coupe, the one right here. But this design is a whole different concept. It has very broad shoulders and it just screams thickness. Just look at the curves and the V-shape over here with the Mansory emblem and the red line from the front all the way to the rear side. And I love this carbon fiber side spoiler. It even has a red line on the carbon fiber side mirrors. The 24 inch rims are accompanied with very broad shoulders and amazing body color wheel archers. And that takes us over to the rear because here you can really notice just like in the front, a lot of layers of design. So it has the glossy carbon fiber spoiler in a double layer design. The third one over here at the trunklet. And besides all the design in the rear, the sloping roof line, it also has an amazing exhaust system, which is adaptive because it has a little device with one and number two that you can change the exhaust sound. It has a three circle design. In the center, a large exhaust system, which you can manually change with a button. And very thick bumpers and diffusers, which have vertical lines and look like crocodile scops. Furthermore, the side fender with horizontal lines and also a red line. Amazing design. So let's have a look at what is in the trunk. Amazing. There's the Mansory cover again in a red design. And over here the Alcantara cover. Some buttons on the side to lift the car. And underneath some storage. Mercedes style. So let's close the trunk. We will have a look at the interior. So let's close the door. Soft closing doors of course. And then we'll press the button for the electronics to work. The seat adjusts and the lights all brighten. It also has a very nice white light coming from the ceiling. The seat adjustments are at the seat position, so not here at the door like Mercedes-Benz. Over here it has a lot of buttons and screens. Two separate screens in the center console 
and a nice Lamborghini steering wheel with a flat bottom and also some nice fabric on the sides. Red stitching. The quality really feels amazing. This is a touchscreen and I notice it has haptic feedback on your finger so it really feels like touching a real button. So this doesn't work but if you press it a little bit more you also feel that the screen vibrates. And zooming out of the navigation system is very accurate and fast. Just like a mobile phone. Here you have your gear selector. A lot of different buttons. So you can pull this one up just like a private jet. And let's start the engine because I want to listen to the sound of this 4 liter V8. I will just hold the brake. And over here I have an additional key. If I press 1, the exhaust sound will change. And 2 is on standard. So let's start it up. Nice. I will put it into sport. And now into Corsa, which is like Sport Plus or Race Mode. And you can instantly hear the exhaust sound change. And now with this device, if I press 1, the exhaust is really loud. Let's listen. Amazing. That's really a different feeling guys. Furthermore, on the right side you can change the steering suspension and also the off-road system. By pressing down, it has the infotainment system display here in front of you so you can change to the home button and have a look at the vehicle options. Navigation, telephone, radio, media and all. On this lower part you can change the air conditioning settings. It also has a seat heating and seat cooling. It's the concept that we are used to. Furthermore the design is amazing with this Lamborghini lettering. Some storage space with a wireless charging pad for your phone. And nice glossy carbon fiber throughout the wall interior. And this is not a special mansory design. This is the standard, fully optioned Lamborghini Urus design. So let's have a look at the back seats and I will leave my seat in my driving position. Let's close the door. Also soft closing doors. And this is amazing. The seating position. You have nice leather with red and black design. Some storage space over here with a very deep storage area. Two cup holders and also the thermometric air conditioning control. One thing definitely part of Mansory interior design are the floor mats. It has a nice red shape around it with a Mansory emblem. You can open and activate the infotainment system screens. And as you can see they are open and active immediately. And it's just so fast to control. Press the Urus. And there it is initializing the car menu. Which takes a little bit longer. The headspace is very decent. I'm not touching the roof and the leg room is also amazing around 15 centimeters. Over here 
the door handle works very fine it has some electronic assistance so you just have to pull it towards you and it will automatically open soft closing doors of course so let's have a look at what is under the bonnet of this Mansory Lamborghini Urus So this is a 4 liter V8 and originally it would have 650 horsepower but now because it's a Mansory and tuned it has 820 horsepower from 0 to 100 km an hour in just 3.2 seconds and the top speed is well over 320 km an hour. So let's close the bonnet. Beautiful glossy carbon fiber by the way and very lightweight. And guys, thanks for watching Mars Benz King. I hope you liked this video with the Lamborghini Urus Mansory Edition. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.